<laughs> All right, you're welcome back, guys. Um, have you with me? <laughs> yes, we have you with me. Um, actress and singer Tonto DK. Uh, thanks for being here today. Thank you very much. Abuka. You're slightly late, but we'll forgive you. I know the traffic. <laughs> what was so the problem? Sorry. I'm sorry. All right, how are you doing? How's everything? How's work? Splendid. How's life? Life is beautiful. How's your son? Let's start with that. Oh, my son, he's gorgeous. He's great. He's all right. How old is he now? He's um, 19 months. Oh, okay. That's yeah. closer to two years. I mean, yeah, almost two years old now. Um, you've been in the news a lot lately, and it's, <laughs> the, the, uh, has it got to a point where it's exhausting you? Yes, I think I, think I, I am there. That's why I decided to just keep quiet. Like, you know what? The law is just handle everything. Yeah. I'm exhausted. And apart from being exhausted, I think that they have a plan for just taking me backwards, backwards. Yeah. And I realize it now that my responses doesn't even help me or my brand or, or doesn't even change the perspective that anyone has out there for me. Yeah. So why even bother? Do you regret all of those interviews you did because they were a little too open? Do you think you said um, too much? Do you think you should have kept quiet at the time? I do not regret my interviews because I, I just got to know that after my interviews, a lot of domestic violence victims came out. A lot of people started getting saved. So um, naturally, with all of the shame and the backbiting and all the pain, the losses that, does in, that, that the interview got to me, I wouldn't still regret it because I know that I truly helped someone out there. Yeah. Yeah. Does it worry you as well? I mean, it, you, you did an interview. I mean, we heard a lot about your marital issues with your ex-husband and, um, you know, domestic violence, cheating, whatever it was, the, the stories were, that a lot of people still don't believe you. Um, at first, it bothered me a lot. I won't lie to you. At first, it was, I mean, it was killing me. But, you see, I got to the point where I realized that Nobody cares about me or, those, or the situation that happened in my home, aside from me. Everything they're doing out there is, or I'm doing out there is just for entertainment for them. So nobody really cares about that. You see, what I went through, I went through. I'm not about to validate my pain or my past pain to anybody. I'm just all about moving forward, dumping every weight that has held me backwards for a very long time and just being as successful as I can. Yeah. So whether you believe me or not, it does not matter. My name is Tonto DK. I am a domestic violence victim. I'm a survivor. You but can you, change but, that. But, but I'm sure you can see why people would, would, would have a lot of doubts now. We've seen videos, as much as you say they are edited, mm -hmm. we've seen videos and um, your ex-husband continues to stand his ground saying that you, in fact, were the one abusing, you know. <laughs> um, why haven't you, for example, gone to court to, put, to press charges or whatever? I have, been, I, I have been trying to drag him to court. What's stopping you? It's, I, nothing. Nothing is stopping me. We're still in the process. It, t it, takes, it, it takes time for all this. What will the charges be? Um, well, that is private. I do not intend to keep making a caricature out of my private life. So everything that happens in court stays in court. Yeah. I'm done with the public. Are you worried about your son? And how all of this comes to him eventually? Because I'm sure he's going to be starting school soon. If he's even started, he has started school actually. Yeah, yeah. Are you worried about you know him growing up and you know all of this being a part of his story, Just considering how out there it is now? Um, that's still not for the public. That's for me as a mom to assimilate. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay. How's 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 work? Work is fine. Work is fine. What is work now? Uh, well, I am I am on a very exciting project. Um, I can't tell you what it is yet. What? You already started. So you started <laughs> no, I can't tell you what is it this is. Is it a movie? It's not a movie. Excuse me. I have started doing movies again, but I'm very, very guarded on what kind of script I choose. Because everything that I'm getting recently is something that I have seen myself doing. So um, I'm not saying I'm big on the movies right now, but... Um, I'm just waiting for that exceptional script. So movies is there, but I have an exciting. So what project. is the project? What kind I of? I can't tell you, Evoca. Yeah. I can't even let lines? it out. I can't let it out. I can't. But it's very exciting. It's something that I'm sure every one of you have been waiting for. Yeah. What is the Tonto Dickey Foundation? Um, the Tonto Dickey Foundation is. Is that part of the project? Um, well, yeah, that's part of a project. Okay. Yeah, um, because um, I'm actually trying to build up a school. We're in the process of bringing up the first Tonto Dika Foundation School mm -hmm. for the less privileged, the free school. And my foundation is all about giving back educationally, girl child empowerment, women empowerment, and youth empowerment, mm -hmm. and the rape victims of the medicine violence and um, yeah, whatnot. Yeah. Okay, so um, how long 
do you think this can be sustained for now? Because, I mean, we always hear about you know, NGOs or you know, foundation starts with stories like this, which are always very good things. But, of course, you might get busier, your career takes off, or this becomes you know, in the past. And then how long are you willing to sustain this for? Because, I mean, it's good enough that you've started it, but when it becomes just about you, are you building a solid foundation for your foundation? Well, the foundation is actually older than the story. My foundation is 10 years old. I've been doing this for 10 years. Yeah. The only thing is that I've just not been having enough publicity around it. Okay. I did not know the, the power of media then. But yeah. now I do understand the power of media, that you have to put your stuff and your work out there. Yeah. So, um, um, no, we're not here for a short time leave. We've lived t 10 years and we're about to go more. Okay. We're just getting stronger by the day. That's why you're seeing more works from us right now than you used to see before. But this has been there for 10 years. Great stuff. Good to know. We'll take a quick break now. When we come back, we'll try and conclude this conversation. We don't have enough time, unfortunately, because she was here late. Sorry. But we'll see how much more questions we can squeeze in. So please stay with us. Say it's best now, it is my